Hello everyone. This is the second video of the series GP GPU introduction. As I told you about GP GPU in previous video, these are graphics processing units with general purpose computation capability. In this era, GPUs are being used for high performance computing based on a hybrid computing model and CUDA is a standard feature in all NVIDIA GeForce, Quadro and Tesla GPUs as well as NVIDIA Grid solution. In this video, I will cover the architecture of the GPU so that you can get a better understanding of programming model. NVIDIA is a giant in GPU production. Some architectures are Fermi, Kepler, Maxwell and Pascal using which NVIDIA produces GPUs. I am not going to explain all these architectures. I am using GeForce 920M GPU which has 384 CUDA cores each with 954 MHz clock speed. It is based on the 28NM Kepler architecture. Kepler architecture has three main features. First is HyperQ. It enables multiple CPU cores to launch work on a single GPU. A GPU consists of multiple CUDA cores. A hardware unit CUDA Work Distributor CWD is responsible for assigning work to the individual multiprocessor. In Fermi architecture, this CWD has single connection with host as you can see left but in Kepler architecture CWD have 32 connections with host this is beneficial in MPI or OpenMP programming let's make it more clear when we write code in OpenMP or MPI we give instruction to execute the program on a particular core suppose we have four cores and four computational code in a program using hyperq concept each core of cpu can give the instruction to gpu for executing the computational part simultaneously and increase gpu utilization using this we can escape from rewriting the code the main purpose of designing this feature is to provide easy mapping with mpi second is the dynamic parallelism Dynamic parallelism is a technique which provides the way for nesting the kernels. Kernels are the CUDA functions which runs on GPU. I'll talk later about kernels. It enables CUDA kernels to call another CUDA kernel without the interaction of CPU. Launching kernel is named as parent kernel and the new kernel it launches named as child kernel. With Fermi only the CPU could dispatch a new kernel but with Kepler GPUs can dispatch a new kernel optionally and tray up the CPU to work on other tasks and the third is SMX the next generation is streaming multiprocessor it is a multiprocessor with more resources and less power the SMX has more processor cores which can support more threads and concurrency the most important thing is that the more dedication to every single level for energy efficiency optimization of energy efficiency is being done in SMX at the architectural level at the system level energy efficiency performance is three times more in Kepler than to Fermi okay now one question for you what is the difference between supercomputing and high performance computing please comment your answers below if you like my work, you must subscribe for upcoming videos. Thanks for watching.